Hello again, losers, losettes, degenerates and degenerates, and welcome to the worst countries on earth to visit tier list. So, obviously these 13 countries are not the only countries that have ever been invented. These are just the 13 countries that I personally have visited or attempted to visit. And I will be ranking them today on this list of amazing, very cool, it's okay, not recommended, and do not go here. So first off, we're going to go with... Oh, where should we start? This is exciting, isn't it? Iceland. We'll start with Iceland, right? Amazing. I loved Iceland. I went to Iceland on my 22nd birthday and I had a great time. Yes, it was kind of cold. It was very icy. But I liked it. I went in the middle of winter. It was, But it was great. I had some of the best food and drink I've ever had in my life. Amazing place. The only downside I thought was everything was very expensive. Very expensive. Next up, we're going to go with Spain. Not recommended. I don't recommend Spain, right? I was, I was very tempted to put that in Do Not Go Here. I'm not a Spain fan. If I had to count up how many times I've been to Spain, I've been once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've probably been to Spain like eleven times, maybe even twelve. I've been I've been to Spain a lot of times. Um, most of those experiences were negative. I don't like the food. I don't like Spanish wines very much. I think Spain just in general isn't that great. It doesn't have a great climate. It's kind of third worldy in some parts. It's not my cup of tea. However, there are some parts that are okay. There are some parts that are a little bit better and stand out and they kind of redeem the other parts. And I would say that it's also not entirely awful. There, there are. It's not like living in a little dirt hut out back. So we'll put it in not recommended, but certainly not anywhere good. Next up, we're gonna go with Denmark. Denmark, I'm going to put it in very cool, I think. Yeah, I'm going to put it in very cool. Um, I went to Denmark just a couple of months back. And all I can say is I went to a very small town. I went to a place, Aalborg. And it was all right there. People were friendly enough, I guess. And it was, it was, it was all right. It wasn't anything like to say, oh, it was so amazing. But I did like the vibes. I liked the vibes, I thought it was pretty relaxed, I thought it was pretty chill, people were very friendly. So I'm going to say very cool, although I could probably put it in okay. But I'm going to put it in very cool, because I'm feeling positive today, I'm in a positive mood. Next up, we have Portugal. Portugal is definitely a step up from Spain. Would I put it as far as very cool? No. Too many beaches, too much sun too similar to Spain in a lot of ways. So it's going in okay. Next, we're going to go with a fake place, Australia. And I'm just going to tell you, where it's going and don't go, do not go here. And I'm sure you could have guessed that. Um, yeah, I tried to go to Australia many years ago um, to find out how real or fake it was. And I was drugged on the plane on the way there. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't recommend going there. I actually, I was drugged on the plane on the way there and I ended up landing in New Zealand, which also goes and do not go here, because why are you going to want to go to a place where the government drugs you and pretends that you're actually in Australia? That's ridiculous. So both of those countries go and do not go here. Australia because it's fake, and New Zealand because their government is uh, a bit tyrannical. Next up, we have Italy. Italy. And I liked Italy when I went there a few years back in 2019. Uh, so that's going to be very cool. I'm going to put it above Denmark. Because Denmark's like going between it's okay and very cool. Whereas, whereas Italy, I think it's a solid very cool. Italy's a solid very cool. And you know, Italy could maybe even make its way up to amazing if I saw more things there or went to other parts. You know, it's it's like a it's part of a dream of mine in the future, like 30 years from now. I just want to chill out and have like a nice vineyard in the south of France or in Italy or something. And that's why I'm coming to France. And... Unfortunately, right now, I can't put France in very cool because I only went to France once. I went to France when I was a child. Well, sorry, I went there twice. 
I went to I went twice and it didn't really count. I went to Disneyland Paris twice. And one of the times I was in Disneyland Paris, all I did was um, I was a very fussy eater and I only ate Pano Chocolas for like three days straight, nothing else. Um, but yeah, we, we took like a day trip into Paris, I think once. But yeah, I don't really remember it all that well, but I do like the look of France. And it is, as I, I mentioned about Italy just a second ago, it's like a dream of mine to have like a, a nice vineyard in the south of France or even somewhere nice in Italy. So I'm going to put France in it's okay, although I wish I could put it in very cool, but I, I just can't at the moment. Netherlands? Um... You know, I thought the Netherlands was, was pretty cool. I'm going to put it in very cool. I'm, I'm positive today. I've been to the Netherlands twice now, and I enjoyed my time there both times. Um, it is a little bit dangerous because sometimes you have these people coming around on their little bikes and they're going to knock you over. Um, and it is true that this place is basically just one giant clog factory. But that doesn't mean that it's a bad place to visit. I don't like clogs very much, but I do like making fun of clogs, and so I had endless entertainment. Nice. And I, I can also make fun of the accents, and I can go, everyone who speaks Dutch just sounds like wah, 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 wah. Next up, we have the USA. <clears throat> now, the USA is a mixed bag. Honestly, I could have probably made individual states um, for, for this tier list, because each state varies so much. I have been to New York, I've been to Florida, I have been to uh, Nevada, and I've also been to California. I've been to those four states. Um, <clears throat> technically, I've also been to New Jersey as well, but anyway. I've been to all those places, and they're very different from one another. I will tell you straight up that California is a shithole, at least the part I went to. I went to, I went to Hollywood, and it was absolutely atrocious. If we, were rank, if we were ranking that, that would be down and do not go here. It would be way down at the bottom. Um, but we're, that's only part of it. So it's just going to bring other things down. I was young when I went to New York. I don't really remember it all that well. But it was okay. Same with Florida. I mean, we were. I was a kid and I went to like Disney World. So I guess it was okay. Whatever. Um, where else did I go? Nevada. I like. I went to Vegas. I like. I liked Vegas. That was. That was. That was a lot of fun. That would be up there and very cool. So it's kind of. It's kind of hard to say where. Where are we ranking the USA? I'm probably going to put it in. It's okay, but like towards the bottom because honestly, I could probably put it in not recommended. But I did like Vegas. I, I like some parts about it. So I'm going to put it in. It's okay. Next, we have another fake country, and that fake country is Wales. Um. To be honest, I don't really have anything against Wales other than the fact it's fake. I'm going to put it in not recommended, I guess. I mean, it can be a little bit higher than Spain. It's it's kind of between not recommended and it's okay. It's not anything exciting. I only went once. I went to a caravan park somewhere for like a weekend. It, it was okay, except from I'm, I'm not really a fan of the accents. Um, England? If I'm being honest, England is... I, I think England's pretty cool, in general. I mean, parts of England are fake, and part... Like, part... It's like the USA thing again. Like, parts of England are atrocious. But there's other parts that are pretty cool. But um, I, I think there's a lot of pretty cool in England. So I'm going to actually put England up here. I might even put it... Maybe not ahead of Denmark. I'll put it there. And finally, we've got Scotland. Um, Scotland's... If, you're, if we're talking about countries to visit... We're not just ranking the country. We're talking about a good place to visit. And so if we go over this again, like Iceland, you're going there, you're going to see some amazing geography, some amazing scenery. You're going to see amazing things. Good food and drink as well. You go to Italy, you've got rich history, rich culture, and amazing food and drink. You go to the Netherlands, you've got a lot of people to make fun of. And they've also got some decent food and stuff as well. Denmark. Pretty decent food. Pretty chill place. Nice chill place to go visit. Some history there as well. England to visit. It's all right. Depending on where you go. It's nice. You can do little city breaks in England. You can. There's a lot of things to do in England. France. Food and drink. Hmm. Great. 
other than snails, get, get the snails away. Frog legs, yes, snails, no. But France, we can visit there. Portugal, it's all right. The USA visiting, again, depends where you're going. Wales, not recommended. I mean, I saw a caravan park. You can go to a caravan park anywhere. Spain, not if you're into good food and wine anyway. And again, Australia and New Zealand, one's not real and one's got an awful government. And so then the reason, so Scotland now, if you want to visit Scotland, it's either very cool or up here and amazing. I'm, I'm trying to, like, I'm, I'm maybe a little bit biased because I stay here and I take things for granted here. But I tell friends all the time, I tell people all the time, oh, come and visit Scotland. I tell my internet friends, like, come, come visit Scotland. We'll go see castles. Everyone likes castles. Castles are cool. I mean, I'm kind of bored of them because I've been so many times and I've seen them. But there's a lot of history in Scotland. We've got a nice climate. I mean, oh, it rains. Who cares? But it's nice. It's a good temperature. Not too cold. Not too hot. Great. Nice scenery. Nice food and drink. I like Scotland. I think it's cool. Is it as cool as Iceland? Maybe not. But I'm going to put it in amazing anyway. And so that's my tier list of the worst countries you could possibly visit. And it's based entirely on countries I've been to, obviously. I will leave a link to this tier list in the description down below if you'd like to do it yourself. And uh, that's it for this tier list video. Goodbye.